Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading. It's going to be focused on your love life. So what is going on in Leo's love life? Okay, very interesting card, very first card to come out. Some of you are in a situation where, you know, you're either already committed to the individual you're dealing with or you're thinking of commitment in a very deep sort of way. So this particular card has many, many meanings, right? It feels as if there's an element of dedication and devotion connected between both you and the individual you are dealing with, right? Now, the challenge that you could be having is indicating the fact that for some of you, getting certain messages across to one another might prove to be a little difficult for your connection as a whole and getting that, that some of you might be feeling misunderstood. You might be feeling as if the other person isn't registering what you are thinking and they could feel the same as well because this is focused on the combined energies between both you and the individual you're dealing with, right? So I see here, uh, there's a sense of wanting to keep a lot of things hidden, wanting to keep a lot of things obscured. It's the kind of energy where someone is very dedicated and devoted to saying as little as possible, doing as little as possible, holding back as much as possible. There could be fears here. There could be worries that could be, you know, uh, precipitating this and causing for all of this to occur. It feels like the energy of not wanting to give for fear of not receiving as well. So that could be something that's playing out in the situation. Yeah, as I mentioned before, someone in the situation, could be the both of you as well, are not where you were, you know, in your connection a few months ago, a few years ago, it's not where it was. It feels like it's an energy of not wanting to be taken advantage of or not wanting to give for fear of not receiving. It feels like that kind of energy is, is happening here between both you and this individual concern. There could be a reason for this. Why? Very interesting. We have this card that has come out. It's indicating to me that in this situation, there's a sense of a lot of hostility, a lot of conflict, a lot of difficult energies. You know, this could be addictions, it could be obsession, it could be unhealthy habits, unhealthy patterns, it could be abusing one's power in a situation. It could be a number of things, you know. So I feel like what Spirit is trying to say here in terms of the situation is that your connection is at a point where there's very little talking that is happening. There could have been a lot more, but I feel like someone is very dedicated to not opening up in the situation, to trying to be as stingy as possible. There's also a sense here of feeling like someone is being taken advantage of. Could be you, could be this individual concern. Your connection is not where it was. Uh, and I feel like for some time, the two of you have had your relationship play out like it's a battleground. I'm getting that sort of impression here from these particular energies, okay? So let's clarify some of these software reps here. Someone is definitely sticking to their guns. I can feel that energy. It's like there's very little, you know, kindness, compassion, understanding, generosity. There's very little of that. Yeah, it's like not wanting to give any sort of love, holding it all back in, not wanting to give any sort of care. Yeah. 
I'm uh, picking up an energy uh, which is indicating there might have been a lot of power struggles. There might have been a lot of, give me something for this. You know, it feels like that kind of energy. What can I get out of this situation? If I do this for you, what can I benefit in this situation? I'm getting that sort of dynamic that's playing out here between both you and this individual concern. So it feels like it's either a power trip or a power struggle. You know, sometimes people will try to give you something nice and try to get something else out of you. And then there's, there's this condition that is present there. I'm picking that kind of energy up here from this particular reading. Yeah. Another energy playing out between these two cards are suggesting to me that someone here in the situation is all talk and no action. It's like, oh, I'll do this for you. I'll do that for you. I'll do this and that for you. Or I owe you one. And when it comes to you getting what you want, it could be vice versa in certain instances. Because there's going to be a lot of cross watchers here as well. There's that energy of saying, you know, like just, you know, sweep it under the carpet. Forget about it. It's that, that's what I'm picking up here. It's like when it's time to pay up, when it's time to deliver, there isn't any you know, reciprocation. Yeah. I feel like the energies are indicating, yeah, that healing in this situation is a two-sided sword, right? And all swords have two sides, but I feel like this is like the double edging in a sword. It feels like that kind of energy where, oh, let me say this to heal this, and let me do this to do that, and it's just a cover-up. It's not really you know, bringing forth what you're hoping for it to bring forth. It's like, let's just glaze it over and pretend as if everything is fine, everything is fixed and picking up those kind of energies here. So a lot of you are dealing with some very interesting themes in your love life at this point in time. There's dynamics here that are so unique and spectacular, like you really have to know uh, how it all applies because the meanings of the tarot cards, they vary and they change according to the placement, you know, even doing a certain tarot card spread, it's always going to change. The variations are always going to be there. So I feel like what Spirit is trying to indicate here is that there's definitely a lack of harmony. There's there's so many components of trying to one-up the other person. There's so many components of, you know, not doing things from a place of sincerity, doing things from a place of uh, what can I get out of this person? How can I benefit out of this situation? Uh, a lot of that is showing up in this reading. One of the most fascinating readings to see so far. I feel like the combination of the cards are indicating that everything is under lock and key. Uh, I feel like the energies are indicating, you know, in terms of the intention there's a lot of withholding, withholding love purposefully. It feels like it's a kind of energy which is following you around from before as well. Hmm. Someone might have went chasing after another individual, or there might have been many possibilities when it comes to love. Someone in this situation might have been cheated on. It doesn't have to be the two of you cheating on each other. It could be from... A previous relationship on your end or on this person's end in some cases it could be between the two of you not being honest towards one another it feels like it's an energy of looking for things elsewhere and outside of this connection might have caught up with the relationship at some point in time yeah i feel like someone broke their promise in this situation it just feels like the kind of energy where uh you know they could have been uh, delivering something that was expected meaningful and needed in a connection and it just wasn't there. So it's like maybe, for example, you wanted certain things for Valentine's Day or, you know, your birthday or whatever it is. Uh, for some of you, your birthday is still to come up or maybe they made you a promise or something of that nature. It could be what happened before as well. It's, it's saying that they're going to do something. Someone is saying that they're going to do something. It could either be you or this person. Because then keep an open mind. This is a general tarot card spread. It's not focused on you or this person concerned. It's just deliberating on the dynamics here. So I feel like the energies are indicating not meeting one's promises when it was supposed to be met, like deliberately letting the other person down when they could have honored the connection, right? I feel like that's coming up here. 
okay. So, yeah, it's, it's coming back to this glazed over appearance of things, you know, where things are just said on the top of it, but nothing really gets resolved uh, because of X, Y, and Z. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'll do this, I'll do that. Okay, fine, whatever. It's that kind of energy that I'm hearing from these particular cards. Some of you are dealing with this very real dynamic in your connection. Either you or this individual concern is precipitating it. And the way I see these energies right now is it's indicating some type of like a circle, some type of a cycle that is playing out in the situation. Uh, some of you might feel very let down by this individual. Others may feel like uh, if you're a cross watcher, you might feel, okay, Leo promises to do X, Y, and Z, but why don't they deliver? It could be vice versa. So what I'm going to be exploring in the extended is all of these dynamics, how to fix it, what's the way going forward, uh, what's going on with your person's my heart and soul energy, any other advice that Spirit wants you to know. Hope you guys have enjoyed your tarot card reading. I hope it has provided you with clarity and peace of mind to know, you know, if the situation is resonating with your particular situation, that you're not alone yet. Somebody sees what's really going on and, and knows, you know, these kind of uh, energies, how they work. So if you want a personal reading, most of them are sold out. There might be a few spots that will open up, um, you know, maybe in this week. So do check that out at thetarotempress.com. If you want to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the many courses and books in the description box below that will help you learn, you know, uh, what you need to learn in your journey, right? So, uh, yeah. And again, this channel is not following a schedule. For those of you that are interested, videos for your zodiac sign can show up at any time. So best thing to do is basically turn on the notifications bell. Have a wonderful day. Take care.